here's an amazing statistic. Every second, your brain receives three billion messages. And of those, two billion come directly from your eyes. That means our eyes work very hard every day. <laughs> and that could lead to all sorts of vision problems. Experts say exercising our eyes can markedly improve vision skills. So we've been taking a look at that. At first glance, it looks like something out of a science fiction movie. And in a way, it's very futuristic, because it's designed to deliver better vision for years and years to come. We come into this world with the ability to see. Hardly anyone needs glasses when they're born. Yet two-thirds of the US and world's population wear glasses. People get to be 40 or 45, and all of a sudden, their arms just aren't long enough to see. One of the things that I've been looking at for the last 35 years is why does that happen? Jacob Lieberman is an author and inventor who was trained in the science of optometry. He says the modern epidemic of vision problems is a result of a society that's moved most of its work indoors. All the research around the world backs this up, is that when you confine vision, it adapts to the distance that you're confining it in. So for instance, if you take uh, naval personnel, and they go into a submarine for a period of time, many of them will become nearsighted because of the visual confinement. If you take a child and you put it in school and you say, okay, you now have to read 80% of your day, which is what a child does, they look up close, what happens? By the end of fifth grade, over 80% of them have measurable vision problems. Most of those kids become nearsighted. The higher the degree of education around the world, the higher the percentage of myopia. So if you go to Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Japan, Israel, anywhere where they stress education, the kids become nearsighted to a very high degree. I'm talking about 88% of college students, over 90% of post-grad students become myopic. So it's the biggest health epidemic in the world. Our vision just goes down the drain as we get older, just merely because of the activity that the culture says you must do to learn, which is read. And now, what do we do all day? We sit in front of computers. Confines our vision again. To deal with that challenge, Jacobs pioneered what he calls holistic vision care. Hold it with both A hands. key part of that is the iPort vision hand. training system. Just like that. And just watch the lights. As Roy discovered, the iPort is designed for five 90-second exercises, which mimic the five basic motions of our eyes. Scanning horizontally, vertically, diagonally, and looking from near to far and back again. Red lights are used to excite the eyes, blue lights to relax them. And Jacob says our eyes do much more than simply deliver images of the world around us. Most people think that the eyes are only for the process of seeing. What we know is that only 25% of the light that enters the eyes are used for the process of vision. 75% go from the eye into the portions of the brain that control every life-sustaining function, that regulate the autonomic nervous system, that regulate the endocrine system. The light that enters the eyes goes to a part of the brain that tells every cell in your body what to do, when to do it, and to what degree, so that the inside of your body is synchronized and in balance, if you will, with Mother Nature. We have certain rhythms in the body that are all regulated by light and darkness and different changes in the sky. When you begin to see it differently, it begins to change. Once that change occurs... Jacob's approach to healthy vision has generated national attention. He's a frequent speaker at major events like the Kapalua Life Fest on the Hawaiian island of Maui. The iPort system has been the subject of four published studies. The research was based on doing his eye exercises for about 10 minutes a day, six days a week, for three weeks. We get statistically and clinically significant improvement in visual attention, aiming, tracking, focusing, teaming, depth perception, reading efficiency, comprehension, speed and span of perception, athletic performance, and I can go on. So for a police officer, they see more, they see it faster, they remember more of it, and they respond more appropriately which is very, very important when you're in a life or death situation. For the Little League baseball players, in three weeks where this was the only intervention, they weren't practicing, they weren't playing baseball, they weren't throwing and catching, 
at the end of three weeks, the average 12-year-old boy had a 90% improvement in batting performance. The iPort has also won FDA approval for use as a medical device. Jacob says he's looking forward to the time when his eye exercises are a regular part of everybody's daily workout. What we're attempting to do with the iPort is merely remind your nervous system, remind your brain, remind your eyes of the way they were naturally designed to function. Jacob also has some general eye health tips for us, including one that probably none of us will be happy to hear about. Right. He says we shouldn't work at the computer for longer than 15 minutes without taking at least a one-minute break. That's hard. But you can get up and walk around or stare out the window at something in the distance. Yeah, something attractive in the distance, maybe. It's easy to lose track of time when you're working on the computer, but it's something we really should all pay attention to for the sake of our eyes.